Hi guys, it's Night Fear, and I am here to do my wrap up for Fantasy A Thon. Um, <clears throat> this actually has been um, one of my most successful readathons. I did finish uh, five out of the, or six out of the seven challenges, and almost finished all six, but, or I mean all of them. Ugh. I'm not with it this morning, guys. Anyway, I, um, read five books and the ones I read I really enjoyed and I just noticed that I forgot to look what I rated this one book so hold on just a second while I get my little sheet okay so this was a readathon all about reading fantasy and I found some really really good ones so the first challenge uh, was to read a diverse challenge, or to read a, to read a diverse fantasy, and for this one, I chose Flame in the Mist by Renee Adier, uh, and this book, I really enjoyed, I gave it a four. <clears throat> this one is supposed to be a Mulan retelling, but it really, really wasn't, um, except for the part where she does end up dressing like a boy. That's it. That's, that's the whole Mulan part. So, if you read this book, don't expect that, and I think you'll enjoy it more. But, this book was about a girl who is going to get married to the prince, and her, um convoy gets attacked and she is the only survivor and she tries to figure out um who uh killed everyone and who set it up and why and that's why she dresses up like a boy and it kind of goes from there <clears throat> there is some interesting um there's an interesting forest uh, that she ends that she ends up in. There are some interesting characters and and everything. And I really enjoyed it. I, like I said, I gave it four stars, and I would recommend this one. I'm going to try to get the next one. I think it's the Sun something or something the Sun. I can't remember what the next one is called, but I'm gonna I'm definitely gonna continue with this series. And I didn't. <clears throat> well, I'll tell you that in a minute. So anyway, there's Flame in the Mist. The next one is to read a debut or backlist fantasy, and I chose to read The Bells um, by Danielle Clayton. Um, I gave this four stars also. Uh, this is about a world where everyone is born gray with red eyes, and The Bells' job is to make everybody beautiful. Um, that's basically the premise. I'm not going to go into it too much, except to say that things are not exactly as they seem, and there is some greed going on and some underhanded things. And we find a lot out about the Bells. And I cannot wait to read the next one in this series. Um, the next challenge was to start or continue a series. Flame in the Mist is the beginning of a series. The Bells is, is the beginning of the series. And the next three books that I read are also part of a series. So any of the books that I read could actually count for this challenge, which I did not realize until I was looking back going, oh, did I really fulfill this challenge? And I was thinking to myself, oh yeah, I did. Every book I read is a series. So the next one is to read a hype train fantasy. I was supposed to read Red Rising by Pierce Brown. I started it and just could not get into it. I will try it again. I'm not going to DNF it totally, but for now, I'm just not in the mood, and I'm not going to push myself to read it, so that then I'll hate it. So that one is just on hold. So instead, I decided to continue um, the One Dark Crown, or the Two Dark Crown, Three Dark, wait, what is the first one called? Three Dark Crowns, um, which is One Dark Throne, uh, by Kendar Blake. Um, this is the second book, and I love this. I, I, I gave this five stars. Um, I'm loving this series. I do have the third one over there. Um, I'm just having to find time to read it because I have a lot of um, readathons going on, as always, and so I'm just trying to find, and these are rather, you know, big, they're bigger on the bigger side, so, um, but this is about a 
an island because the whole world is not like this. It's just this one island um, where they are ruled by a queen and the queen is always a triplet where the triplets are raised until their 16th birthday and then they fight to the death to see which one is queen. Yeah, interesting, huh? Um, but there's a lot more to it than that and there's a lot of stuff going on and there is a, in these, there's a poisoner queen, an elemental queen, and a naturalist queen. And it's just really interesting. And there's some underhanded stuff going on and some other stuff going on that we're finding out about the world. And so I'm excited to continue with this one. But yes, definitely, I would definitely recommend this. Especially if you like um, books about queens, um, I, would, I would definitely recommend it. I'm finding that I really enjoy that. So the next one is to give a book, you set aside a second chance. And for that one, I picked Graceling um, by um, uh, Kristen Kishore. Uh This one I had started and put down for no other reason than I had a whole ton of books. And then for some reason, this one just got cast aside. I'd always planned on picking this one up again. And this was a great excuse to do that. <clears throat> this one I ended up giving four stars. Um... Just because in places this one was a little slow. Um, and that's pretty much the only reason. But this is about a world where every... Well, not everyone. There are people that have graces. And when you have a grace, you have two different color eyes. Um, our main character, she has one green eye and one blue eye. And then she ends up meeting a boy with one silver eye and one gold eye. And they all... I mean, you could have a grace in cooking, swimming, um, tracking... Um, anything sword fighting um but our main character she has the grace of killing and her uncle has taken that to the extreme extreme and has um tasked her to doing little jobs for him and there's a whole bunch of other stuff going on um there's a kidnapping there's um some other stuff going on and she kind of has to figure it all out and we are on for along for the ride so um, really good book. Um, uh, and the second one I think is Blue, Blue Lily, Blue something, Bitter Blue, no, Bitter Blue, because that's a, uh, and that, it's not about our main character in this one, but we do meet Bitter Blue in this one, so, um, and I'm, um, anxious to, not anxious, but I'm excited to, um, get to read that one also. The next challenge was to read a fantasy in a genre or format that you don't normally read. Now, I normally read ebooks, um, audiobooks, physical books. I kind of, you know, and then sometimes I'll have the physical book and I'll go from the physical to the audio and I'll go back and forth. <clears throat> so for this one, I had picked the Zombie Survival Guide, uh, which is, I mean, it literally reads like a survival manual, like, you know, like you'd expect to. Um, have like from the Boy Scouts or whatever and it's kind of boring a little bit and so I only got that far I will finish it um, but it's I'm discovered that survival guides guides like this are not my cup of tea um, so just for that I probably will end up giving this a three um, maybe I don't know. We'll have to see. But right now I'm I'm reading about the guns and the weapons and it's just, it's very boring and it's very hard to get through. So I've gotten through like 20 pages at a time when I've read it. And so I just didn't end up finishing. Oh, this is by Max Brooks. And it's not bad writing or anything like that. I mean, it is kind of interesting, but it just goes on about, I mean, just on and on about the weapons and the guns. And it, it just, ugh. so I'm hoping that once we get past that part, it might get a little better. So, but yeah, I didn't get to finish it, but I will. So, but that's the one challenge that I, unfortunately, or the one um, prompt that I didn't get to. And the last one is immerse yourself in the novel. So you're just supposed to pick a book and just pamper yourself. And for that one, I picked Rebel of the Sands by Alwyn Hamilton. I gave this five stars. I loved this book. I'm finding that I really like this um, Middle Eastern desert. Um, of course, you know, Flame in the Mist. Not so much desert, but then I also read another one, which I'll tell you about, um, A Thousand Nights by E.K. Johnston. Um, I read that one too, which was another desert fantasy type book. So um, I'm finding that I'm liking this, you know, Arabian kind of book. Um, 
This one is about a girl who um, has taught herself to fire a weapon and she is trying to es escape this little town. Um, and she goes to this, um, she goes to this, what is it called? Firing range thing type. Well, it's a, in a, it's in like a, like a bar type thing, a, a barn actually, but then they have it set up like a firing range and there, there's competitions and she was one of the people in the competition and so she, and there's money involved. So she's trying to use that money to escape um, because they're trying to, they're ta there's talk about trying to marry her off and she obviously doesn't want to get married and so she meets this foreigner and there's something a little strange about him and it kind of goes from there and they end up escaping together through a whole bunch of stuff and we find out things about him and about some other things going on in the world and we meet there are gin in this book, um, different kinds, and um, she ends up discovering some stuff about herself that she didn't realize, too. So, it's a really good book, and I can't wait to read the next one. Um, and I actually have the next one on my Kindle right now, um, but just like um, Two Dark Rains, I'm having to figure out exactly how to read those two because they're not on any of my other TBRs and still complete the um, challenges for the owls that I'm trying to, trying to, um, oh, that I'm trying to complete. So, but I would highly recommend that you try this out, especially if you like the, like the Middle Eastern desert Arabian kind of tales. So, but anyway, that was... Those are the books that I, you know, the physical books I ended up reading, um, and then the bells. So I really, I mean, f all the books were four stars or five stars. So I think I did really good. Um, of course, found some more series because that's what I'm queen of is series. Um, but like I said, I would highly recommend any of these. Um, just with Flame in the Mist, don't go into it thinking Mulan because not at all no Mulan, no, 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 but read it for a Arabian Middle Eastern type tale, and I think you'll, or no, actually, this is not Middle Eastern, Japanese, um, a Japanese inspired tale, uh, and you will do a lot better. I don't know why I said Middle Eastern for this one. I guess I was thinking about this one. <sighs> read too many books all at once, and not taking time to just sit and let them let them, you know, set and kind of soak in. So Japanese, definitely this one, Japanese, this one, Middle Eastern. So anyway, um, I hope that you have a wonderful day. Please remember to always be kind to one another and I'll see you again soon. Bye.